Hey, this is Reed's Reviews, and today we'll be looking at an Electro Harmonics Blurst. This pedal is kind of cool, it's psychedelic a little bit. And to me, it reminds me of kind of a mix between a um, wah wah pedal and maybe a, a tremolo. Um, but you can you can be the judge as you listen to it. Basically, what we have here is just a bypass. Uh, here we have a, a manual tap where you can, um, you know, on the fly when you're playing live or whatever, set the rate. Um, you can also set the rate here, or you can set the rate here, or you can put in an expression pedal and set the rate through the expression pedal. So there's a lot of different ways that you can set the rate on this, which is kind of cool. <laughs> And here it's just kind of kind of has a wah wah wee slash tremolo sound. The shape um, of the sound can be changed uh, here, and I'll. This is the uh, top one. Bottom. We'll do it again as we change some of these other settings. The resonance, um, as you move it to the right, the kind of the wah becomes more pronounced. I read something where someone explained resonance as you turn it up. You get more of a quack sound, and basically, uh, that's kind of true. It's just more of a kind of a wah sound at the end. Okay, now the range basically is you. Um, right now, it's set at 12 o'clock, and this is um, the oscillation of the pitch. Uh, the widest range is going to be with it at 12 o'clock. As you move it left, um, the range will get narrower, but the pitch will get lower. So, um, I go down. Let's turn the resonance up a little bit so it's more obvious. And if you keep going, it disappears, basically. At least I can't hear that low. Um, let's bring it back up to 12. Now I'll move it to the right. So obviously there's a point where it gets out of the range where it's noticeable, but right there you can still hear it. Let's move it back to 12 o'clock. So the blend is basically dry and effect sound. sound I guess. Now let's change the shape again. What I've noticed is the the top shape again has more of a pop at the end. A little bit. The bottom has kind of the least. And that's just to my ears. And those have names for the different shapes. Alright, so in general, would I recommend this pedal? Yeah, if that's what you're if you're looking for something that's psychedelic, uh, I would. It's kind of sounds like bubbles popping, a mix between a wah and maybe a tremolo. Um, so it's definitely a psych, kind of a psychedelic sound, and it's pretty drastic. One thing I did notice is these, in, in general, it's well put together, but these knobs are plastic, these ones. Um, not a big deal. It doesn't really affect the, uh, the sound at all. Um, it's just that uh, it's a little cheaper than in metal. So other than that, um, I think it's great. Uh, it's uh, If it fits your style and what kind of music you're trying to make. So... Um, thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.